Houston, we have a problem. After his representatives adamantly denied that Don Lemon had a list of diva demands to join Elon Musk's ex, the ousted anchor admitted in a new interview, people negotiate all the time. Lemon didn't deny whether he really had ambitions to be the first podcaster in space, the most out-of-this-world request among a heap of sky-high demands he made when hashing out his contract with Elon Musk's ex-platform. Before Lemon was axed from his ex-gig by Musk, he'd put in the moonshot request to go to space, and also wanted a $5 million advance on top of an $8 million base salary. Plus equity and veto power over the site's news policies and its creative roster, the Post previously also reported. When asked about the report in a new podcast interview with Mediate Editor-in-Chief Aidan McLaughlin, Lemon, 58, brushed it all off as nonsense, but then admitted that it's all part of negotiating a deal. When McLaughlin told Lemon, the New York Post has been reporting some stuff. That you made a bunch of requests from X that you asked for a cyber truck, an $8 million annual salary, and other demands. Lemon replied, oh come on that is nonsense people negotiate all the time, but that's, come on. It's obviously a deflection. Lemon, who was axed from his X show after it debuted with his ill-fated Musk interview, deflected a bit himself by saying of the Post reports it has nothing to do with the interview. And I'm not going to fall into that I don't read the New York Post, but I do love their horoscopes. It's great I'm a Pisces, by the way, so you can read my horoscope to know what's going on in my life. When he was asked earlier in the Mediate podcast if he reads the Post, Lemon scoffed, no, I don't read the New York Post oh. I do read the New York Post I lied I read the horoscopes in the New York Post. The Post reported that a bulleted item in Lemon's demands allegedly read, first podcast in space to be hosted by Don via SpaceX. The document, as reviewed by the Post, was sent last December, a month before Musk and Lemon announced their partnership to create a show for X. Lemon's representatives did not comment on the space request, but previously adamantly denied any of the wild demands by the former CNN host. Jay Shores, Lemon's agent and vice chairman at Hollywood Agency UTA, told the Post this is absolute, complete utter nonsense without an iota of truth to it. Former CNN spokesperson Alison Golust also commented on Lemon's behalf, there is nothing in your list of demands that you claim Don made of X that is true literally nothing. Also in the Mediate interview, Lemon revealed that he has not heard from his former Tesla mogul boss since they parted ways. No, I have not heard from him, Lemon said of Musk, we used to text occasionally, not a lot. He added of their surprise split. There's no lawyers working on anything I am under the assumption that we had a deal and they have to abide by the terms of the deal if they don't do that within the, the limits of the contract. Then we'll be forced to take legal action. Lemon added, again seemingly avoiding talking about his contract with X, I don't like to talk about money or terms I just find it gauche it's just not done that's the reason I have an agent. The anchor also said of his Musk interview, I have nothing against Elon Musk I had no agenda except for people to get to know about him, to get to know about me. And maybe to get to learn something about themselves I thought I was doing what he wanted on the platform. Musk fired Lemon before their debut episode even aired, after taping the testy talk on March 8 when Lemon asked the tech mogul about politics, alleged drug use and his content moderation policies. Musk, who initially wooed Lemon to X, then cancelled the online show after deeming Lemon's performance dull and underwhelming, and saying Lemon's eponymous program was basically just CNN. But on social media,